In this video, let us see how to get these windows RDP for free without any credit card using only the GitHub workflows. Earlier, I made a video about how to get these windows RDP using the restdesk.com. In this video, let us see how to get these windows RDP for free using the Light Manager. You can use this RDP for up to 3 hours continuously. After that, you can cancel the current workflow and reconnect it. So let us see how to get this RDP for free without any credit card. Let's get started. Just go to the github.com and create an account on it. I have already signed in. Click on this new button to create a new repository. Give you a name for your repository. In this case, I'm going to choose RDP. Then change the visibility to private. After that, click on create repository. This will create an empty repository. After you reach this page, Click on Actions and select Set up your workflow yourself. Here we need to paste some code here. I will provide the link of this code in the description. You can check that out. So let me copy this code and paste it here. You can check the description for this code. I will provide the link there. After you paste there, click on Commit Changes. And here also, as you can see, we have created the one YAML file. Then go to Actions again. You will see a workflow called Programming with Kumaration. Click on that and click on Run Workflow and select the workflow. After you refresh the page two to three times, a new workflow will get started. Let me refresh it again. As you can see, the workflow started successfully. Click on this workflow. You can see Start Building. Click on that. As you can see, it starts installing all the dependencies we need for the Windows RDP here. So this will take around 2 to 3 minutes, just give you a few minutes. After that, it will create a username and password for us. Using that, we can connect it to the Windows RDP. Just give you a few minutes now. As you can see, it successfully generates the username and password and the Light Manager ID. We will use this Light Manager to connect it to the Windows RDP. Just go to the Google and type Light Manager. Click on download. Here, depending on your operating system, download the Light Manager appropriately. If you are using the Windows, download this. I am using the Linux, so I will download this last file. Let me download that. As you can see, it is downloaded. Let me unzip this file. I am going to open a terminal. To unzip that, unzip and the name of the file. As you can see, extract the file. Let me open this Light Manager. Here, we need to provide the IP address. Let's go to the GitHub. This is the ID. Let me copy that ID and paste the ID here. Then for the password, copy this password and paste that here and click on connect. So you can see that it says connecting. Just give you a few minutes. As you can see, a new screen has been opening. Now we have successfully connected to this Windows RDP. You can see that here. So let me pull that pop-up apart. Let me pull it here. So this is the Windows RDP we created without any credit card information or debit card. Let's open up the Chrome to test the internet connection. To test the internet connection, just type fast.com. As you can see, the internet speed goes up to 1 GB, 2 GB. Let me minimize this and open the file explorer. You can see that we got a temporary storage of up to 70 GPs. If I click on the properties, you can see that the RAM of this Windows RDP is the NGB RAM and the processor is the AMD and we are using the Windows Server. Let me close this. Let's actually download some software to see the real internet connection. I'm going to download the Android Studio. Click on this first result and download it. Here you can see that the internet connection is about the 40 megabits per second which is quite pretty good, right? Let's give you a few seconds so it can finish it. As you can see, it finished successfully. Let me minimize this. If you want to disconnect this Windows RDP, just pull this tab here, pull that here, and click on disconnect. It will disconnect the Windows RDP. As you can see, it says disconnected. Let me close that. Close this light manager. If you want to reconnect it to the Windows RDP back, just go to the actions again. Let us me stop all the work current workflows. You can't cancel the workflow. 
go to the actions let's delete all of these here on the right side again click on programming recommendation and select run for flow and click on again run workflow it will create a new workflow let me refresh the page two to three times As you can see, a workflow starter. Click on that. So this is how you reconnect it to the Windows RDP by following the steps I mentioned earlier. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.